Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Friday, the 22nd of November. I'm James Spann. Wet is the word tonight. A decent chunk of the day tomorrow. Maybe some rain before Thanksgiving next week. Let's take a look at things. Here's the upper air look across the country on this Friday afternoon. Troughing coming into eastern Canada. Part of the trough hanging back over the southwest United States. And for us... It's cloudy for the northern half of the state. Some sunshine down in southeast Alabama around Dothan. Check the radar at 235. Rain was falling. Tuscaloosa, Birmingham. Uh, we'll see rain at times tonight and at least tomorrow morning. Temperatures are mostly in the 60s. The cool spot, Fort Payne. They've got 57, but note the Montgomery, 78. They've seen a few peaks of sunshine today. The air is colder north and west of the state, and we'll see a cooler air by Sunday Will highs when highs will most likely drop back in the 50s in many areas. There's the watch warning map. Pretty quiet today. Typically something crazy is going on, but the things are pretty calm. Got a marginal risk of severe storms just west of the state through tonight. Parts of Mississippi, Louisiana, southeastern Texas. There could be some thunder here tonight. Severe weather not expected. This is the risk tomorrow. And again, maybe some thunder in scattered spots, but no severe storms. And on day three, which is Sunday, no thunderstorms across the United States. Here's the precipitation over the next seven days. In Alabama, rain amounts uh, between one and two inches for the north, less than one inch for the south. And off in the tropics, Sebastian, the tropical storm, late season tropical storm, hanging in there, top wind 60 miles an hour, in the middle of nowhere, and it stays in the middle of nowhere. And most likely will fizzle out at some point uh, over the weekend or early next week. No threat to land. So let's dig into modeling here. This is the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 3 p.m. You can see the trough coming through. Surface low northeast of the state with a cold front coming in. So this is 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. This is the uh, national blend of models. I kind of like this product. It takes a number of the uh, uh, models and puts it all together, which is probably a pretty good approach. And at that point, it should be pretty wet, as you can see, over the northern half of the state. This is noon. And uh, the rain should be over in Tuscaloosa. Again, for that uh, Tuscaloosa or the Alabama-Western Carolina game in Tuscaloosa, 11 o'clock kickoff, there could be some rain lingering to the first quarter, but there's a chance the rain could end right about the time the game begins. It'll be a close call. Uh, but for Auburn, that looks pretty wet. They kick off at 11, and I'm afraid it's going to be wet for much of that game. This is 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. Rain pushing out of the state will start to clear after midnight Saturday night, and then Sunday will be dry. Uh, the sky mostly sunny, a cooler day with a high in the 50s in many areas. Monday, we start the day in the 30s. The high will be in the 60s, a bright sunny day. Now, Tuesday of next week, got a storm system, surface low near St. Louis, a chance of snow from uh, parts of Kansas up into Iowa and southern Wisconsin, a band of showers and storms south of that. It uh, looks like we could be dry during the day Tuesday. Tuesday night, the surface low is near Detroit. Showers uh, creeping in here, and then this is Wednesday. That uh, surface low is over New England, and the front's probably going to hang up. And so uh, Wednesday looks like a cloudy day. Uh, we'll mention a chance of showers probably beyond the morning, maybe for much of the day. But again, there's no big dynamic support, so not much rain with that feature. This is Thanksgiving Day, and the question is, does the front just kind of stall out and the weather stays cloudy and showery? Uh, the GFS kind of sides with that, but the European uh, looks dry. It's going to be a close call. And again, this is almost a week away. Confidence is low, but the temperature should be pretty pleasant. High should be uh, low 60s, right at seasonal averages. This is a week from today, Friday the 29th, Black Friday. Got ridging here, big trough coming into California. And again, that would be cloudy and there might be a few showers around, but no big deal. The big messy weather is back in the uh, western states. And just for the fun of it, this is the next day, Saturday the 30th, Iron Bowl Saturday. And uh, there might be enough moisture for showers, but again, I wouldn't expect a big event if this happens to verify. Let's go out to uh, Monday, 10 days, Monday the 2nd of December. It's a zonal flow, and that's a dry air mass. Here's the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean around 3 inches, that green line, and temperatures. Again, if you average all those numbers out, it's about seasonal, very close to average for late November, early December. 
Highs 50s, 60s, lows mostly in the 30s and in the 40s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. While well, I've notes on the blog, my next video will be posted here by 7 o'clock Monday morning. You can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.